All right, how's it going? Welcome to Nepal. We're kicking things off here in Kathmandu and it's bloody freezing. So today is our first day in Nepal. Very excited to be here. Hopefully we can eat some good food, meet some nice Nepali people and maybe get some warm clothes so we don't freeze to death. So let's go see what Kathmandu is all about. What do you recommend we try? Like classic Nepali snack. So, just I want to tell you what kind of food you prefer because spicy and sweet, what oh, kind of food? Eat? Everything, but maybe just like uh, we get some tea and some snacks like... Uh, so this, uh, this is called, name called uh, sel, sel Roti. Sel Roti? Yeah, this is uh, pure Nepali food. Okay. So you can try this and uh, there is also, this is also Nepali and in India also you get. Okay. But sel Roti is the pure Nepali food. Okay, so we will try these. Try and tea, yes. Yeah, tea as well. Like. So this goes well with tea. Uh, here Eat actually, with tea. Yeah, you are talk, telling that what we, how we make or what? You, yeah, you eat this with tea. Yeah, we can do that exactly. Okay, okay, perfect. We should eat this tea only because this is the combination with the okay, tea. Okay, perfect. These we'll all things, no. Except this, maybe this samosa, name called samosa and sel roti. Okay. These all we eat with the tea. Okay, thank you yeah. so much, my friend. Okay, okay, so we're going can, here. You can try it once. Okay, thank okay. you, sir. Okay, thank you. Nice to okay. meet you. Nice to meet you. You are Have making vlogs? Yes, we're making a YouTube video. This okay, is okay. our first video in Nepal. Okay, this is first video. First video on Nepal, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, like his video and subscribe <laughs> his channel. Legend. This is talented. <laughs> what is your name? Guys? My name is Pradeep. Pradeep? Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll go in here then, okay? Sorry. No, no, okay. 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 Me, I'm leaving. Yeah, okay. I have a class. So we'll meet if we'll, I'll, we'll get time okay. again. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, your name? Alex. Alex, right? Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Okay. Safe to you. Have a nice day. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Lovely chap. Sat I just met a lovely young lad and he said this spot is very good. So we're feeling a bit peckish. We're going to head into here, get some classic Nepali snacks and a tea, hot drink, hopefully. So here we go. Namaste, hello. Please can we get the Sell roti. 25 rupees, one piece. 25 for one. Do you want one leash? Yeah. Can we get two, please? Yes. And this samosa? 25. One samosa and um, tea? Yeah. Please, can we get two chia tea? Okay, thank you. Hot drink to warm us up because it is freezing. What's this? Oh, it's something like some sort of food as well. Thank you. <laughs> Got a little cooking area in the back. So initially, first impressions of these little eateries in Nepal, the proper classic, like just these little hole in the wall spots, and they all feel really cozy. Like, maybe because it's just really cold, they're just, they're just nice. So here we got our snacks, we'll just wait for a hot drink. Thank you. Right, here we go, we've got our tea. That's gonna be hot, isn't it? Oh, it smells good. It's gonna be really hot. I'll be first. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, it's like, I don't know what's got in it, but it tastes good. <laughs> a lot of sugar. Really? <laughs> Holy moly. Why did I do that? Why have I done that? I swallowed it. It burnt my mouth, then I swallowed it, and it burnt my throat, right? I've now got no taste buds, so I'm not going to be able to taste the delicious Nepali food I'm going to eat today. Anyway, here we got the sel roti, which is the classic Nepali snack that our mate recommended to us out there, young lad. So this is fried rice flour, maybe spices. Looks very interesting. Let's try it, break some off. Now, this isn't hot, this is cold. I bet if you have it fresh, it's really good. But then again, to eat it hot, it's gonna have to just come out the pants. It's that cold outside that it'll just cool down. Anyway, enough talking. Very good. Even Paul. Very good. Not in a barley door, no. What do you think? You can tell it's rice It's really, really light. It's a, like, yeah, the texture like. of it is like, it's not dense, it's like really light. It's like crispy on the outside, but it's got like little bumps in it. Yeah, it's got a funny texture. Yeah. I've got to say though, it is quite oily, but yeah, it it's good. That is very good. I like that. I think I'll be eating that one a lot in Nepal. 
and it goes perfect with the tea. That's a good combo. It's just like a sweet milky tea. Now we also got that samosa, didn't we? Now this, I will be honest, feels like a bit, it feels very hard, so we'll try it. We need to get here early in the morning when everything's just been done, don't we? In the future. That's well good. Let me get to the filling properly. That's well good. What's in there? Like potatoes, spices. One minute. Let's have another bite. I think there's ground meat in there. I'll tell you what, I said it was stone cold, it's still delicious. That's actually really good. The genuine, the filling is really good. I'm happy. I have to get used to this little combo here. Yeah? It's got a nice spice, it's spicy, it's good. Yeah, you can see a proper cross section of that samosa here. And it's stuffed. The filling is really, really good. And this part of the rotted, the crispy bit, again, is really good. Really good snacks. I've got to come clean here. We just asked Boss Man, and this is veg. So there's no meat in it, no ground meat. It just looks like it. Just a potato and loads of spices. So this sausage happens to everyone. I only have 500, is this okay? Do you want chips? Change that? No, change crisis. Uh oh. Well, it's hard to get your hand on small notes, isn't it? ATM gives you the biggest <laughs> notes on the planet, doesn't it? Bleach is stranded. What is the total price? How many rupees for everything? 125. 125, okay. So every item is 25 rupees. Teas, snacks, the lot. Each, 25 each. Okay, not any bad, thank you. Right, there we go. Maria, should we just check out this Nepali money? Hey, look at that, it's beautiful. Mountains, rhinos. What else have we got? Oh, some more as well. Okay, thank you. What have we got in here? Temples. Deer. Yeah, what's on this side? Tiger. Right. Right. Decent little spot, that. Now what? So you can see here, Kathmandu can be a bit mad. Like there's quite a bit of traffic. Lots of bikes. It is a bit mad. But it's not too overwhelming. It's all right. I think because it's cold as well. It's all right. It's not that dusty either. So you go the mean streets of Kathmandu. That's um, Mosque somewhere. We've got stuck in the middle of the road. But it's one of them countries where you just have to go and kind of like put your hand out and just wait for a gap. Or just walk and people go around you. Hello guys. Hello. Namaste. <laughs> oh yeah, look grumpy, didn't it? Hey up, check these streets out, it's really nice. There's loads of these peaceful back streets and everything looks pretty sick. Got all these old shops selling food, snacks. I like it round here. It's peaceful, we can hear the birds. And I think we're coming up to a Buddhist stupa round here, I can see all the Buddhism flags. There we are. Cool, isn't it? So it is freezing though. It's absolutely freezing. Like we've got all the clothes we own on. We're gonna have to buy a coat or something. Wow, check this out. There's loads of pigeons in there. Let's we'll see if we can have a look in here. Looks very beautiful though from outside. So I believe here in Kathmandu there is a giant Buddhist stupa somewhere. We might check that out, but this is just a small one, but it's still very nice. So we'll try and head in, maybe it's this way. After you. Alright, here we go. 
look at this then. The Buddhist stupa is well nice. I can't lie. Got all the Buddhism flags. This big courtyard area where everyone's just chilling out. And you've got people walking around here praying, spinning the prayer wheels as you can see there. Look at this. It's lovely here. Yeah? Really cool. Put the buildings all around us. Really cool little place. Chilled out. So many pigeons. Look at all the pigeons. Right. So Arya, should we tell you a bit about the religions here in Nepal? So I think it's like 80% Hindu, then 10% or so Buddhist, and then a bit of a mishmash of like Christian, Muslim, and whatever. Other minorities. So yeah. There's a few Buddhist temples knocking about. Really nice. Lisa's just admiring it from the wall here. What do you reckon? I think it's just nice that there's a space like this in the city that people can sit down in. It's really like, it's really relaxed, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. People can just like, everyone's having a chat or just having a little thing for themselves. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just like a square area to sit, somewhere to sit. It sounds stupid, but a lot of the countries in Asia, there's literally nowhere peaceful to sit. Like everywhere is just like a main road. Like the Philippines springs to mind. It's not, it's not a single park. It's hell. But here it's lovely. Alright. Let's have another wander, eh? Wow, look at this, people. We've got pavements. I have not seen a pavement in ages. I'm not used to this. Bloody hell, look at this. We don't have to walk in the road. What's going on? Bloody pavement. Wow, we're in heaven. We're in paradise. We can give you a bit of an aerial view here in Kathmandu. Of this roundabout and all the traffic. There's quite a lot going on in there, look. So many bikes. It's a road work. Great! Look at that! Bloody hell! So I think we're going to try and grab a call because obviously we're not going to be staying in Kathmandu we're going to try and head to some more mountainous areas it's going to be freezing it's going to be like zero degrees so we need a jacket I can see these shops knocking around we're going to buy like a cheap used car or something we'll try and find one Wow look at the traffic I've got to say though the traffic seems to move like at least here anywhere there's a lot of traffic but it's, it is moving maybe in the night time that changes but oh look the classic Asian cables craziness I'd hate to be an electrician in this part of the world it'd be hell bloody hell people recurring theme here in South Asia ATMs are a nightmare none of them work and you can't just go in the bank and ask them to withdraw with your passport and your credit card and they won't let us anywhere, so what's this one? What are we on? Google something, I am something. I don't know, what, what is it? Let's show you, I'll show you outside. The Global IME Bank. This one actually works with a foreign card. You have to pay 500 rupees though, absolute bollocks, but yeah. You can get 35, 40,000 or something. They probably rupees, it's just like 250 quid. So yeah, there we go. ATM nightmare everywhere. We have some cash. Thank you. Now I need to but it only gives you thousands, which is like a massive note. And it's like, you go to buy a flipping tea for 30 rupees, and you give them a thousand, it's like you just killed the dog. Right. It's gonna be really hard to spend those, isn't it? Lots of break with big chops. Hey up, we've got a KFC. Kathmandu Food Cafe. That's the only KFC you'll catch me in. No. These kids are absolutely harassing us. Oh. Do I have any money? Gosh. The harassment, man. Right, here we go. This is our chance to cross the mad roads of Kathmandu, and now we're stuck in the middle again. And we got these begging children that will not leave us alone no matter what. Drive 
driving me insane. Here we go. Try and go before the buses. So down here, no, what are you doing? I've already given up on the life of walking on the pavement because the pavement is that busy that it's just super congested. So it is easier to walk in the road. I've reverted back to the road. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. So here we are again. Dodging death with the buses, trucks and bikes. But around here there's loads of shops selling clothes, coats, but it's all like new, but I think it's still fairly decent price, so we'll try and grab some air. Flipping hell, public toilet here on the street. Wow. Nepal, leading the way. Look at that everyone. Portable toilets. Top content. What should we get now? So this here is a little shopping street, right? And there are loads of places selling coats and jackets and stuff. But I'm struggling to find something that fits. Everything's a little small. You know, you don't want a small coat like hugging your shoulders. You want to be flexible. So it ain't looking good. And I'm a shit shopper. I get bored after like two minutes and give up. So maybe we're just going to get some more. more. Come on, we can have one last push. <laughs> one last push. It's quite cool around here though, if you look. Like a little bizarre street, innit? Gosh, look at these wires. Madness. What's this? Gooseberries. Okay. There's a lot going on. A lot to look at. A lot of smells, the whole load. It smells like incense everywhere in Nepal so far, which is a good smell. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. Wow, look at this for a house. This is old school with the wooden windows. Cool, isn't it? They've just done the washing. We're just wandering around now, just these little streets here. We've got a temple. And then down here, we just spotted there's a little bit of some oranges. We might buy a few oranges there. Eh? Court situation. Can't be asked. I can't believe we're shopping for a bad coat. I'm having to tell people I want the cheapest, worst coat you have. That's not how you usually shop. Yeah, I'm having to say, please, can you give me a worse coat? Clementina? Yeah. How much do you know how much these are? This one, how much do you know? 180. 180? 180. For a kilo? Well, five kilo, yeah. This 180, how much is that? Well, this one, 150. 150? This one, 180, yeah. Are these ones sweeter? So you do the same thing? Yeah. So it's like a pound a kilo. Yeah. Should we just which get a few? One, which one's better? Sorry? Which, which one, one most delicious? Best? This one. This is better. The big one. The most expensive one. Hey, they look alright. Yeah, it's all good ones. So I really wanted some oranges. Because <laughs> they just make it feel fresh when you're feeling a bit run down. <laughs> they must be in season here because everybody seems to be selling them. They're just them. piles of oranges yeah. down the street. <laughs> Taste? Yeah. Free taste? Taste. <laughs> what the hell? These ones are tiny. How many are you getting? How's the orange? Really good. They're good? Okay. Cheers, sir. Let's try that orange then, eh? Good orange to it. Very good. So we'll wear these, how much are they going to be? Let's find out. Wow, proper old school weighing machine, yeah? How much are we talking? 80. 80? Okay. To find an 80 in there, my big wad of flipping Nepali notes. There is any, I think not. It's like the, um, the hundreds. Should we spend them 250s? Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, then you're bad. Thank you. Thank you very much.
much. Cheers for helping, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Right, oranges. Now what? Got the guts. More, more. Oranges and more, more. I'll tell you what, we'll be feeling fit and healthy after this time. Oranges. <laughs> Oh, here we've come across a little Hindu temple in this local neighborhood. We're going to check this out. First time taking a look at a Nepali Hindu temple. And it's very interesting. Straight away. So we'll just take a look in here and see what's going on. Maybe we'll walk around the back and show you the architecture. It's all going on in here, isn't it? Very busy. Hinduism, eh? It's always very confusing for us outsiders. It's a very confusing religion. There's a lot to it. I think it's very complex. Very complex, yeah. yeah. We'll have a look around the back. Like, look at this. This is really beautiful. Really nice. The traditional architecture. Never seen it before. But the buildings are really beautiful. Very nice. I've got to say, Again, like another little peaceful spot in the city. Because I've got to say, Kathmandu is pretty mad actually. There's a lot of people here. Very big population, there's people everywhere. Walking down the street, just, there are a lot of people. Let's just leave it at that. Let this lady through. Oh, sorry. Oh, she's going back out. She doesn't fancy it today. So we've got some woolly hats. Snack shops, sweet shops, fruit and veg market on the right. Look at this, a little fruit and veg street. Oh, and spices it seems. Got some beautiful chilies, they smell wonderful. They smell really good. And dried fish, oh gosh, you can smell these bad boys as well. Loads of dried fish. The chilies smell good and the spices there. Namaste. Smell very good. How good does this street smell, Leash? It smells incredible. I just can't get over how beautiful all like, the veg looks piled up. Like if you just look over there, that guy's veg looks so beautiful. It's got mountains of vegetables yeah. over there. Everyone's just like trying to get the best beans out of the pile. It's well cool. It's nice because we're not used to like this traditional market. Like in England, we don't have it anymore. Well, maybe we, we did about 80 years yeah. ago. Oh, we've got some fresh fish here. Look at this. Wow. Fresh out of the tent. He's scaling them. Namaste. Hello. Just having a look. Hey, yeah, just giving you a bit of a glimpse into what it's like here on the streets of Kathmandu. The market streets. You can see everyone's got the coats on because it's cold. Everyone's wrapped up. Just ladies selling the veg. It is pretty cool to walk around. When you're on these pedestrianised streets, though, I've got to say, it's about a million times better than the streets with the bikes on, because the bikes are ruthless. Before I went filming, a bike hit me in the back of the leg. I've been run over on my first day in Kathmandu. How about that? What have we got here? Just some chicken. I feel like they've been blowtorched. Namaste. And then, what have we got here? Namaste. Is this buff, buffalo? Buff, buff. buff. So here we've got some buffalo meat. In Nepal, buffalo meat is a big thing. You will see us eating it a lot this series. Okay. Goodbye. Hey, yeah, pretty cool street. We've got some street doggos. The dogs always know where the, where the meat is. Yeah, they'll they're just sit here, won't they? Outside the butchers. Hoping Auntie feels a bit generous today. Gives him a little bit, like an off cut. Everyone's alright though around here. The Pali people, a pair of crocs, but yeah, let's get some of them for winter. What are I saying? The Pali people, they seem, seem quite nice, chilled, quiet, like reserved, like reserved yeah. yeah, which is fine. So yeah, we're right in a market area, look at this. Just narrow streets and high buildings at the side, I'm guessing people living around here. We've got some custard apples, wow. Custard apples are very good. They have quickly become one of my favourite fruits. Every time I eat one, I realise how good they are. Bend the trend menswear. Is this a shit shop? Let's find out. Oh, everything looks quite nice to be fair. Namaste. I'm just looking for a cheap, cheap coats, like very cheap, bad coats. Do you have? 
cheap. Very cheap, just because. Price way cheap, yeah? Yeah, just like Quality wise better, but price way cheap. No, quality, quality can be bad. Okay. Quality doesn't matter. Just to keep me warm. <laughs> That's the worst. This is a very good product. Oh. This has a US polo logo. Oh, hell. Ralph pure, pure, pure cotton. I mean, it's a copy. This, not yeah, a, no, I like, know. Not I the know. original one. Okay, I know. But I know. it's only for the best 500. price, 500 rupees only. Or oh, do you have something a bit more like a, a like a thin jacket? It's like a little thin jacket, yeah. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we have. You can go for this as well. This is for. This is also on promotion now. Okay. So okay. One thousand five hundred. Yeah. Do you have something yeah. for like one thousand? Like, like maybe jacket. maybe maybe thinner or no? No. One thousand is very small amount. Okay, so not like not like not like this. Maybe thin jacket, very thin. thin. Jacket, yeah. Like this. Yeah, that, that one is more expensive than this. That one's good quality, that isn't it? Yeah. Down the down jacket. Yeah. yeah. I know. Down one. These do look nice, but yeah, we only this want. Cost, uh, I think three thousand five hundred rupees for you. Yeah, so that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. We, we just want a bad jacket, don't we? We want some. We want something bad. <laughs> We'll have a look, let's see what yeah, you've yeah, got. Okay. Cheers. Thank you, bad. Thank you, bad. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. That guy was really pleasant, and his shop, to be fair, is very good. And he does have some coats, I'll just quickly show you, for 1,500. Very thick coats, which, to be fair, would do the job. But. I don't know, it's, it's massive. It's a massive coat. I just wanted a light jacket. It's like. I'm the hardest shopper in the world. I give up. We should get your coat in, Ben. I can't be asked anymore. Thank you, okay. sir. Any bad? Enjoy your sit. Oh, thank you so much. Right, everyone, we're gonna get some Momo for the first time in this little local spot. That guy just said it's very good. He said it's not famous, just a local spot, but it's good. Namaste. Hello, sir. So, under here, they've got a flipping boatload of Momo which we might get to see in a second. He's gonna lift it up here, yeah. There we go, look at them steaming away. Wow. So yeah, we'll go in here. <laughs> Trying Nepali Momo for the first time. This is cool, isn't it? Look at it, yeah. yeah. And they've got a seat in there in the back as well. There's a few tables, it's a bit dark. A bit dark. Namaste, hello. Oh yeah, this is cool, that's, so we've got all the sauce bottles on here as well, look, various different sauces. It's all going on, I'm excited. If you know me, Momo, dumpling, any type of this type of food is like my favourite. It's the ultimate comfort food, especially in cold weather, so. Now we actually came in this spot because we just went into a court shop with a really nice family and the daughter told us to come here, she said it's good, so that's why we're here. And after we've eaten, I think we're going to go and buy a call, so stay tuned. Yeah. We've ordered a plate of buff momo, so buffalo, and a plate of chicken momo. It's very exciting. Your chicken, thank you. Oh, thank you, Your What? Your piro wala. Your piro. Your piro, chili wala, your not chili wala. This one. Chili, chili, chili. Oh, yeah, chili, okay. So this is buff. Yeah. Right. Our momo are here. So, what have we got, Leash? We've got the chicken momo. They are fresh. They are fresh, literally. I've just watched him whiz them out of that steamer onto the plate, straight onto the plate. And then we've got the buff momo, buffalo, which is the um, holy grail of Nepali. Um, so, yeah, we've got our sauce as well. So, this one's chili. Yeah, this one's chili, this one's not chili. Right. I just have chili, what do you think? Yes. Chili. Let's try them both, but I think the chili's going to be the winner. Great. Is it look at Oh, okay, oh, okay. And this as well? Oh, chili, chili, good, good, good. Spicy, good. Thank you. I think we'll grab a Coke as well. This last night we were out, we had a Coke, and I don't know what's going on. It tastes like Mexican Coke. Coke is awful, but in Mexico and Nepal, there's something going on. They're putting something in that Coke. So she just covered our momo with sauce, okay, so we have to try them now. Let's go for it. Should we try both? Yeah, yeah let's try it both. So let's just get a full one first. And go for it. Cheers. I don't know what that, that um, the sauce is. One's chilli, but what's the other one? Mm. 
¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué Let's just cut one open for you and show you what is inside though. Can we see? Buffalo, some herbs and spices. I don't know what, but yeah. Let's just get some chili on that because the chili sauce is phenomenal. Oh gosh. There we go. The chili is so good. That oh, no, 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 no. right kick to it. It's tastes a little bit sour, but I don't know. They're really good, the meat's delicious. That chili's got a real burn. It's probably a burning after burn, it's a long last step. It's like a peanut sauce, it's a bit salty. I don't know what the name of it is, but let us know if all the viewers are learning. First day, we've got a lot to learn. So here we've got the Coca-Cola. Bloody hell. There we go. Why does it taste so good? Honestly, you won't see me drinking Coke in any other country. But Nepal and Mexico, I'm in there. It's really good glass bottle of sweet Coke. Fantastic. Try chicken fries. Have you tried them? No, let's go for it. They look bigger. So they're a different shape, obviously. So. Let me just get this one covered in the um, chili. Look at that. How's the chicken? Really good. Cheers. Yeah, also really good. Fantastic, man. I like both. Yeah. Both is a lot. The taste of the buffalo is a lot stronger than the taste of the chicken. But the both are really good. Chicken meals are a little lighter. Buffalo meat though is just fantastic in it. Well, I'm happy. Nepal, I'm going to be eating more and more. Probably every day. I'm loving it. And I think every region of Nepal will sell slightly different style of momo. So you can eat this all the time and it's going to change depending where you are in the country depending on who's making them like. Obviously we're in Kathmandu, people here are Newar people. I think if you're in mountains of where different people live, they'll make them differently. Enough momo talk, let's finish these off. Really cool vibe in here though as well, isn't it? Cool atmosphere, just a little, little hole in the wall spot. But it's very busy so. And I can get my chilli fix, it's hot enough to provide the actual heat. These were that good, I've had two of them. Another plate. I'll give you a slow mo pouring action shot. Look at that. Oh my goodness, mate. Beautiful. And then what else? A bit more chilli. Oh, there we go, everyone. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely stuff. I like these more moles. More than me. If I could, I'd put leash in the bin. And take these more moles to be my partner for life. I've got one last thing to show you in here. It seems in Nepal, in the food spots, there's like a communal jug of water, or like cups, and everyone just drinks from this, but like doesn't touch the mouth, just kind of pours it from above, which I am no doubt going to be terrible at. Not too bad. Did spill a drop? You in my ears. <laughs> but it's hard. Got some? <laughs> show us how it's done, Leash. Come on, no, show everyone how it's done. That's how it's done. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. What is that water? 
Is it is that water? Is it filled with water or what? <laughs> Either way, it tastes alright, so. It will be right. <laughs> oh, check this out, people. I'm here. I just brought some fresh Momo ready to be steamed. So they're going to go on in a second. So he's bringing them around the corner every time they make them fresh. Let's see how much this costs. Now I've only got a thousand rupee all, which is just diabolical. Hopefully they have changed. Well, she's making fresh sauce as well here. A literal bucket full of sauce. It smells good. It does smell a little bit peanutsy. What is the price? Two buff, one chicken. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four twenty. Sorry, stop. Sorry, stop. It's very good. How much is 420? I, don't, I have no idea how much these things cost. Okay, thank you, bad. Thank you. 420. Let's have a look. I know, because it's a cold day, we should just go and stand here like this and warm up. It's very cold. <laughs> okay. Great little spot, that, isn't it? 420, well, let's find out. Oh, we had a cork as well, so. Let's see. So it is £2.50 for a cork and three plates of Momo. Not too bad. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm getting everyone's way. Sorry. Oh, my gosh, a man's just driven past. I don't know if you saw that on the camera. There were like three goats on his bike. I heard this. <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's go and get them corks. That's what we're doing. Right, lads. Here she is. This is where we're going to get our courts. Namaste again. Hello. <laughs> Mama. Mama, oh, okay, okay. We've come back. Hello, namaste. <laughs> um, namaste. <laughs> we just Can went. You again? Yes, <laughs> we just went to the Everest Momo. Ooh, and it was I very good. Very good. The buff Momo was very delicious. Very good. Yeah. Svaristo. Very good. They must local Momo. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really good. Really good. So we've come back to buy the coats. So how much for both of them? Twenty dollars. One each. One four hundred each. Okay. Okay. So they're gonna do these coats at one thousand four hundred rupees each, mm -hmm. which is like eight pounds. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. A nice good. good price, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So yeah. We're not going to be cold in Nepal now. We're going to be toasty and warm. Shall we sh can we show the people the jackets? Yeah. Sure Let's get one of them out. I'm going, to, I'm going to just open one. I want to show you what we're getting here. Oh, she's tagging Oh, is it impossible to get no, in? No, I can get in them. Are you going to wear it now? <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll wear it on the way home. You will wear it now. Okay. Two XL, both XL. Yes, you've got the same size, the same coat, so... So this is a proper coat. It comes in the bag. So we'll show it you. Just throw it on. Zip, zip. Zip. Oh, <laughs> Bear with me, people. <laughs> so we weren't even going to get a coat in there, but then we just thought, you know what? This family really nice. Why not? I need to concentrate. I'll be back in a minute. Right, here she is. It's a decent coat, to be fair. I'm not really a coat man, never wear a coat anywhere in the world, I just brave the cold and just freeze like an idiot, but we thought why not this time eh, in Nepal, so here we go. Wow. It's alright to be fair, it's got a bit of a strange hood though, look at this. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> it's a weird hood, it's like... You probably never wear the hood though, it's no, like it's a bead like a, on your head. A puff on the head, I think it might keep you warm though, but it's alright. So it's like 8 quid, 1,400 rupees. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good price, but it's alright. Happy with it. It'll Happy keep you it. warm. Alicia's got the exact same coat, so we're going to be twins the whole trip. <laughs> so we did get a coat in the end there. It's been yeah. difficult though, you know. Yeah, it has been difficult because people sell, they're either really expensive and good quality or just naff. But here we go. 100% real North Face. You know how it is. Yeah. How does it look? Very good? <laughs> Very good. Okay. So 2,800 for two. Okay, okay. Dandivad, thank you so much. much. Bye -bye. Goodbye.
So here we go in my new coat. Not bad, eh? I feel like I could like just come straight out of England now. No, to be fair, so we got a coat because we're here in Nepal and then after we're off to Pakistan and we're going to be in the mountains and whatnot. It's going to be pretty flipping cold, so the next few months this will um, this will be decent. We won't, you can, we could just be cold, but then I don't want to be. <laughs> we might be miserable. So yeah, leash made me get cold. I'm actually really stubborn and I usually just, just go out of it. I'm just going to be freezing cold and usually I'm in shorts and flip flops, but. No, but if, it, if, it's, if it's like one degree, three <coughs> degree, and a t-shirt isn't cutting it, is it? Well, you can do, and I usually do. But, well, uh, let's see, we have to do 2024, this. we're a changed man. <laughs> we're keeping warm. So it's all right around this area. I don't know what the area exactly is, but we're like on the east side of Kathmandu, at the opposite side of Tamil, which is where all the tourists are, and like there's, there's like bars and all kinds of dodgy shit. Here it's just like local eateries and just chilled out. It's just a, it's just like a normal neighbourhood. Anyway, while we're here, I'll just give you a quick like summary of our arrival yesterday. Because it was one of the smoothest arrivals to a country we've had in ages. So we arrived in the evening and everyone was lovely in the airport. We even got a SIM card. It took about one minute. It cost like four pounds. And the guy just literally threw it in my phone and activated it. Done. And then we changed some money. All the people were super nice in the airport. Someone outside helped us get a taxi. We used the Patal, I think it's called taxi apps. Someone helped, rang the taxi, told them where we are. Everyone was really nice. So I just want to say that taxi driver, also really nice. Chatty, friendly, just easy going, chill out. So it's been a good start. It's been a good start to the trip. It was decent, weren't it? There was no like really bullshit easy. on arrival, like yeah. no, no scammy, horrible people, no bad people. We had a really awful day yesterday in Delhi Airport, so to arrive and have a lovely experience. It was fantastic. It was great, yeah. <laughs> really good. Good, for, great first impression. Though. Yeah, it was a really good first impression. Yeah. The pe the Nepali people, first day I was like, oh wow, they're well nice here. So you can see just a nice, just a normal neighbourhood, I guess. Check it out. It's all right, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm still nearly getting run over on these back streets. Here we are. And this here is where we're staying in Kathmandu, this beautiful, massive Nepali house. So I may as well just quickly show you where we can. You can see we're just in like a little small neighborhood. I'll show you inside. It's like a... Um, Guest house, homestay, what would you call it? It's just a room in this house. They've got a very cute dog and a gear, which is very hard to shut. No, oh, let's just try and do this. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. So we'll show you Lily here, the dog. Hello. Namaste. Hello, hello. She's really cute. Nice on you. Say hello to everyone. She's lovely. She's what is she, a Tibetan Mastiff cross? And a Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniel, look at her. Oh, <laughs> oh what's that? She's lovely. She is lovely. Friendly. She's so cute. She's proper oh, nice. So nice, aren't you? Oh. So yeah, we're staying in here. And this is on Airbnb, but we did our usual trick of swerving it off the platform. And I think we're paying like $15 a night. It's just a really basic room. But I just want to show you the outside of the house because it's lovely. It's a really nice, like traditional house. And I want to show you Lily. So I think you'll see us again after we nip out and finish the video off. Okay, everyone, we were going to head back out and end the video somewhere for you, but it's raining and it's cold and miserable. And to be honest, we can't be asked. I'm sorry. So we're going to have to leave this one here. But I've got to show you something funny. Lily just jumped onto this chair and then jumped right into Leisha's lap and look at her. She's massive, sat on Leisha's knee. I think she thinks she's a small dog. She's, she's very she's cute, I really small. like her. She's a lovely dog, lovely, ain't you? <laughs> so, yeah, first day in Nepal, it's been a decent day. I quite like it. Kathmandu, it is pretty busy, but compared to a lot of the other places we've been, it's, it's a bit more chilled out. It's nice to walk around. The weather's cold, which is, 
quite like the cold, you know? It's better than sweating your tits off everywhere you go. Got some good food. I'm very much looking forward to the rest of this trip. It's going to be beautiful. You know, we've seen lots of mountains and just hopefully beautiful nature. And yeah, stay tuned. See you later. Tell everyone goodbye. See you later. She's slipping. And she's oh, like, she's slipping off my Good night. Feet.